Victory League Live. It's a whole new game. A cheeky little touch. It looks like South Hobart's uh, throwing the captain's armband, Braden Mansway. Uh, I don't know whether that's mind games from the start from the old Silver Fox, Ken Morton, but uh, Braden Man just uh, taking the toss there with Kieran Mulraney. Doing Port in the tyre huddle and South Hobart also huddled. Um, two very, very young lineups, as we said before. Schmidt gives it to Hall. He pumps forward. He's through straight for man. He's in one on one with Pierce. He fires into the bottom left. That is not the start that Kevin Port needed. A beautiful ball through. And referee doesn't see it, and Man now has it in the box. He lays it out wide, but it comes off Lazinski instead, straight off his chest. Lazinski now flashes to the top of the box, gets a shot off, and it rolls harmlessly wide. Yeah, now, you have to explain to me in a moment, Nico, where that came from. But he's made a bit of a meal of that touch there, and he's turned it over. Man goes down, and it's going to be a yellow for Maskell early here. Bit of Darcy Hawley has a couple of bites of the cherry and then finds Downs who whips a nice ball out in front of Mann. Andrews has lost him there. Man, time and space and blast. Oh, he's got a couple with him now. Oh, somehow finds a way. Makes a hole when there wasn't one, but Hunt recovers well. Beats Blizzard. Looks to beat another one. A lot of trouble again for the Devonport defence and it might be a role he's unfamiliar with because he's playing it very nicely at the moment and a free kick to Devonport there, I would have thought it was Zinsky. Ah. A free kick for South Hobart on the halfway line and South take it quickly. Rexy Hunt one-on-one -on -one with Adam Gorey who has Andrews in support. Hunt goes past one, goes past two and that's a penalty. Got Downs and you've got Mann standing over this. I think. Downs to hit it. Shoots low and hard and it's cleared by Andrews. Probably in a bit of trouble out wide against the likes of man as uh, they all rise high in the box. Probably need that against the Lazinski as uh, Turtle Holden breaks down the right. Quayley shadows him and they went toe to toe and he's had to cut back inside. He gets a shot off from outside the box. but he's Lewis meets it just beyond halfway. Down for Banfield. He finds Gorry. Pressure coming hard and it is hard. Left. He puts it forward on the right hand side. Man was offside but Hall wasn't. Picks it up, plays in the centre, finds Hunt. He fires off a shot with a left boot. Comes back to him off the gloves of Pierce. With the Teletubby. That fits too. As Banfield comes forward, Bambi, they call him, comes to Dennehy. Oh, and two South Hobart players take each other out. Dennehy just has to show some composure and doesn't. Holden will now need to shoot. And it's off. To uh, just draw level with Zebras at the top of the table as it's played through from Banfield. Through for Dennehy, puts out wide. Played in from Gleeson. It's a very lovely ball. He can hold it up. Looks out to the left. Finds Quayle. Quayle puts it across. Oh, looking for the run of Lazinski, but the ball was a little too swift for the big south. To Darcy Hall, a neat little bit of football there, but the pass from Hall over hit. And Tom Pierce, Pierce Jr., the two Pierces in goals either side. Um, oh, and Adam Gorey, horrible pass back, and it's chipped over Tom Pierce. And Adam Gorey for the second week running, culpable for. A goal, and we'll see a replay momentarily. As uh, Devonport just tried to play that one out, the ball came from Tom Pierce, the junior Pierce. That the two goalkeepers rolled to the feet of Gorry, whose pass back missed Maskell, went straight to Braden Mann, who had the simplest job of lifting the ball Braden over. Find the feet of Holden, a bouncing ball. Holden does well to trap, uh, but a little toe to no one in particular. Downs finds Lazinski, whose diagonal ball again cuts Devonport to shreds. Mann and Mulroney wrestle a bit of UFC since so. the last update there, and. Uh, Norky Knights uh, were always tipped to struggle a bit for this is the shot from Lazinski comes straight to Pierce who coughs it up and Braden Mann scores a hat-trick within 37 long and strong into the box oh no that's a horrible effort oh my lord I think it might have been Hall that it came off last though I'm not entirely sure we'll have to see a replay there the long throw came in from Downs it was off Lazinski and it just looped in over Pierce. And that's 41 minutes gone. And plays it in from the right. It's into a crowd box. Punch away from Pierce, but only as far as a real crowded area. That By Poe Maskell. Poe Panda. Comes to Stevens, who just walks around Blizzard. A nice bit of footwork. Lays back to Manny strikes from distance. A deflection doesn't wrong foot. Vanderklim wins it back. Puts it out on the right for Hall, who tries to cut it across, and it's runs down this left-hand side. 
gets through a couple of them, plays to hold, and he looks to use his pace from the byline, tries to cut it back, but the line beats him, and it's out for eight. It's inside to the feet of Gorey. It's cut out by Lazinski, though. Klim, Klim dances, like swimming through the pool, cuts a swath through it, and he doesn't. Had a few games on him in my time, in fact. A few years ago when I was nimble enough to be playing at such a level. Cross comes over. Comes off the head of... Uh, Picks it up, comes inside to uh, Hunt, and now comes down to our man who lays top of the box, down, hits it, and it's deflected, and it's in. Oh, another nasty moment for the Devonport strikers, and in particular, he comes back to Stevens. He turns, shapes his body away, finds Hunt, who looks to dink him with the left. Uh, flying clearance to Moroni, only comes as far as man. Can he get round? Threads through, finds... Uh, Dennehy there, he loses it, gets it to Gorry. Some sharp stuff from Walter and then Dream Teamer. So another good point from Corn Dogs is it's a nice ball through from Hunt. Finds me in. He does well to navigate a couple, but Pierce this time. Stops and props. Lays it uh, all the way back to Schmidt instead. His touch is nice. Shoots on. He does. Oh, 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 that is a ripper. Stop it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the second time in two years South Hobart have come to Devonport. And struck one from 30 yards with pace and swing that has made life impossible for the man in goals. On that occasion, it was Casey Eves. On this occasion, uh, Pierce tries to clear. I think it's as far as Blizzard, though. Devonport with a chance to put one in. Dennehy back to Blizzard. He's over here. He cuts it back. Not quite. Blizzard rockets into the... Instead, it comes to Devonport. Uh, Pierce and goals. And Holden flicks one nicely around, but, uh, around Schmidt. And it. There's Chilcott now in the middle, plays it forward to Dennehy, misses his target. Oh, Matty Lewis turning it. We had all the stops today, and then a lovely ball finds Man out wide. Can it be six? Man. Oh, he now he stops the props, lays it back. Thomas! Oh! I would have sworn to that. Push forward on this right hand side. Went to the 69th minute. Just played long from Gorry. Oh, and Pierce does well. Goes back and tips it over. Park Knights have just pegged one back. Booger scoring for them. It's 3-1 down the line's den. As it's a long-ranking ball from Holden. And as Pierce collects and darts forward. Looks to push aside one. And he's shut. Blizzard. Look at steady and shoot. The funny old one, that, as uh, Pierce goes the wrong way. Blizzard fires into the bottom left, so something for Devonport to take out of it, even if it was a rather obscure way to uh, to claim their goal. Wouldn't mind a look at the replay. I'm sure Ash is him, but Stephen's there to mop up. It's uh, the Kung Fu Panda that plays it through for Dennehy. He rushes onto it and scores. Beautiful bit of work from Devonport. Something out of nothing. The game all but dead. Rex Hunt, who's in the left back position. Um, Hess wins the header and plays it to Walter. Plays a lovely ball out to Braden Mann, who is bought down in the box. And I would pretty much say that's a clear penalty, Damien Gill. A slice of cheese stubby to go with it. Mann steps up and fires into the bottom left. A fine, a fine. Uh, to Noel Vale. The ball goes out to Bradley Chilcott, who has a speculative shot from a long way out. Right of him, but Brown's on the ball and sees it as Steven, so he can just do some trade, trademark swagger work. Brown clatters in. Who's outpaced. He's got a chance here. Oh, Pierce does well. Oh, Hess picks it up away from Maskell. Hess on the ball now. Looks to enter the box. Oh, he's done well. He's put it across now for Man, who fires at goal. Good save from Pierce. Right, sometimes we haven't called Clemmy's name in a while. Play for now for the Prophecy. Jordan tries an early shot. It's not a bad one, but it's wide of goal. And uh, um, To Bo Blizzard, who plays it into Bambi. Bambi slops the ball through to Danny he who powers a shot. It's been a rig all afternoon, because all afternoon he's been saying the younger of the two piercers, and the two piercers are in goals at either end. As Brody Denny he slides in, he looks to have um, put it wide. He beat the advancing pierce. Um,